This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops, lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say.
main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts, to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. <laughs> it's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal.
Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here. You thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager, I'm a Pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy. Was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Took down all those cat. Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. 
Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. If walls could talk... Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Wait, you can do that? I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Yeah. Holy shit, it works! Can you get audio? Compiling now. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things? Must be talking about the cat. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain, watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first cat ambush on Site 1. The cat scouted them out. Another code, like we already found. I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts.
They didn't know what they ran for. They weren't told. Sam and I could have helped them. This won't happen again. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access. Code. Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you?
traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can... Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. enough to carry heavy equipment up there. Should be enough glyphs. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. or I will push you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through... All right, time to get off. Don't like being sat on, huh? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that.
System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things! From Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make a little bot! Not bad. My first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Ryder, you've been studying this Remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All Remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. Remember the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. One folks were interested in the monoliths, too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. 
more remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. It appears to reconfigure the panels that rise from the floor. That could come in handy. Looks like it isn't filled in yet. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Radiation levels increasing.
should now be able to interface Pathfinder. Interface accepted. That did... whatever that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Can't drop ship. Seriously? Can't catch a break. So whatever tech we found on Habitat 7 is the same as what's here? That's what the scans suggest. Two planets now. What does that mean? You know what it means. Suit up and find out. Got it. That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. <sighs> Hostile shuttle incoming. Enforcements. Do they know we're here? They've got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Are 
you. That was pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah. Guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? My name's Sarah Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? You're not the only one hunting, Ket. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. Nexus knows shit about the Ket. They think they're safe, but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now, taking out Ked bases, fighting ground troops. I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the Ket are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Seems fun. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Online and connected to something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me.
this component was security tagged for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. He was tortured. Nexus didn't mention anything about this. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Anton, Darren T, and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started. A field log pathfinder, issued to patrolling Ket. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. <laughs> 